The time is now. Everyday lives, eternal significance. Joshua chapter 2 Then Joshua, son of Nun, secretly sent two spies from Shittim. Go, look over the land, he said, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there. The king of Jericho was told, Look, some of the Israelites have come here tonight to spy out the land. Before the spies lay down for the night, she went up on the roof and said to them, I know that the Lord has given this land to you and that a great fear of you has fallen on us so that all who live in this country are melting in fear because of you. We have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt and what you did to Sion and Og, the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan, whom you completely destroyed. When we heard of it, our hearts sank and everyone's courage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on the earth below. Today we encounter another significant woman who was to feature in the genealogy of Jesus. The lady is called Rahab and she lived in Jericho during the era of Joshua. As we reflect on the coming of Christ in the world during this Advent season, we see that unexpected people get caught up in the story of grace. How could Rahab, a Gentile woman and a prostitute in the city of Jericho have possibly imagined that she would be included in God's plan to redeem the world? We see that she believed in the Lord. Joshua 2.11 says, For the Lord your God is a God in heaven above and on, on the earth below. But the significance of this personal faith for those of us living thousands of years later could not have ever occurred to her. Now the men had said to her, This oath you made us swear will not be binding on us unless, when we enter the land, you have tied this scarlet cord in the window through which you let us down, and unless you have brought your father and mother, your brothers and all your family into your house. Living in her own time, Kronos, her actions of faith and obedience are part of a Kairos moment. Rahab makes an agreement that when her city is destroyed, all who take shelter in her house, presumably through believing her message and warning, will be saved, and that her house, which was in the city wall of Jericho, would be marked out by a scarlet cord, so that no soldier would be confused that those within were to be spared. Imagine the scene then when Joshua and his army march around the city of Jericho for six days, and on the seventh day, they march around it seven times. The walls collapse, but Rahab's house is spared. It must have been the only bit of the wall of Jericho left standing. What an astonishing picture of grace. Through a scarlet red cord symbolizing her faith and trust, this woman and all who listen to her are spared. It is powerful and prophetic that Rahab ends up in the genealogy of Jesus. Her son is Boaz, who goes on to marry Ruth. We'll hear more about her tomorrow. But even in Jericho, God was at work in his perfect timing, preparing the world for the coming of his son. This tells us, as future generations, something profound about the nature of his love for the world. No one is beyond the remit of his mercy, not even a prostitute from an enemy country. Anyone who will believe and trust will be welcomed into the family of God through the coming of his son into the world. Do you ever feel completely insignificant watching the days and years roll by, wondering if God has any great purpose for your life? Remember that he used the simple faith and trust of an outsider like Rahab in her own era in a way that is still significant to us today. As you pray today, ask the Lord to help you to follow him and grow as a disciple in time now, but with eternal priorities front and centre in all that you do, that you'll be able to sow seeds that will take root and last beyond the here and now. <laughs>